This bitter blast of cold we're experiencing is so extreme, two people may have frozen to death last night in Dallas. Their deaths are now under investigation. CBS 11's Marianne Martinez is live at a Dallas church offering anyone who needs it a warm place to stay. Marianne? Gilma, even on a very cold night like tonight, there will be homeless people who decide to stay outside, braving these temperatures, even though there are many shelters in the city. Now, Oak Lawn United Methodist Church, just behind me, recently created what they call an emergency pop up shelter, and they're hoping they can be an alternative for homeless people who decide not to go to a shelter but still feel like they can come here. A woman's body discovered inside an enclosed bus stop after Dallas saw its coldest temperature in seven years. You know, you can see it in her face. Her face was real blue. This man called 911 when he saw the empty wheelchair of a woman known to frequent South Dallas. Over by Fair Park, a man's body was found around noon. Autopsies are being done on both to confirm if the cold killed them. It's heartbreaking to hear about stories where people are dying on the street in a city that's filled with buildings that are warm and heated overnight with nobody in them. In the last few weeks, Oaklawn Methodist Church decided to turn its dining hall into a place where anyone trying to get away from the cold can spend a warm night. We give you thanks that we are warm right now and we pray for those who are not. Brian Stotes will be spending his second night in the church and urges those who brave the cold to come inside. For some that they just don't, they don't, they have too much pride and they don't want to come to a place like this. People who come through the door are offered dinner and breakfast. Staying at the church is free and there are no restrictions. Here, that's not the case. Uh, everyone is welcome. Oaklawn United Methodist Church says it has capacity for about 80 people, and they uh, ask people who are needing shelter to arrive around 6 p.m., but they say no matter the time or how many people show up, no one will be turned away. Reporting live from Dallas, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.